Hi, right, it's time for another math easy solution. Today I'm going to discuss further into improper integrals and now go over example 8 of the example series. And we're going to solve this example which states evaluate the following integral from uh, basically an integral from 0 to 1 of ln x dx. So the first thing we should note is just recall how the um, or re recap on the function ln or natural log of x and how it looks. So basically if you were to graph it out, recall it from my earlier videos, basically the ln function looks something like this. It's like a curve that goes down like this and it goes to well negative infinity as it approaches zero from the right side. This is y equals ln of x right here. So at this point right here is one. So it's zero when it's when x equals to one. And here what we have is basically the limit as x is approaching zero from the right side, noted by this uh, above uh, plus sign, ln x while well, it's approaching negative infinity. And basically the function yeah, that we are that we are integrating or this ln of x when we're integrating it what we're actually finding out in this case is this area from 0 uh, to 1 yeah from 0 here to 1 so this region we're trying to find out if if it uh, exists or if it goes to infinity so since it goes to since this limit goes to infinity this is a vertical asymptote so this makes this integral well this yeah, thus basically what we have is integral from 0 to 1 of ln x dx, well it's improper. So if it's improper like I showed in my earlier video, and this is a type 2 improper, just means it has a vertical asymptote like that. So if it's improper we have to write it as a limit. So we can write this like I showed in my earlier video, 0 ln x dx, this equals 2 the limit as t is approaching zero where the asymptote is from the right side of now the integral from t to one ln x dx. So now we have to solve this uh, definite integral t to one of ln x dx as opposed to the zero where it's uh, asymptote now. So to solve this one, uh, we could basically solve this using integration by parts and I I also went over a video on this earlier. So again, using integration by parts, you could learn more about this in the video link below. Basically recap on it, recall that what we have here, integral from zero to, I mean from integral of zero dv, I mean of u dv, I don't know why I keep saying zero, equals uv minus v du. So yeah, you can see the proof of this and the more and more on integration by parts in the video link below in my earlier videos. Basically, the reason we're doing this is because integrating ln of x, it's not easy to see what the integral is, but we know that if we take the derivative of ln of x, that's just one over x. So in that case, we could simplify the function. So we would let u in this case equal to ln of x because the way you do uh, integration by parts, you simplify the u. So you pick one that becomes simplified when you take the derivative. So du in this case just equals to one over x. So that's what we have on the right side. And now our, v, our dv, what we pick is in this case, we just pick dx. So dv equals to dx and then the integral is, is simple still, it's just x. So when we put this together, we have integral from zero, I mean not zero, let's go to uh, t to one of ln x dx, let me put this better. So now the ln x is, is our u, so this just equals to ln x and our v is x, we just put it over here. And now we're evaluating it from, uh, I keep putting that, from t to one. And then we subtract to get this integral Z from t to 1 of uh, v, so v is x, and then our du is 1 over x, uh, dx right here. Yeah, I just missed that one part there. So now that we have that, I'll just put this here, x, and then we have a dx. So as you can see, this cancels and we can actually solve that integral. So just uh, keep going through this, evaluating this, put the 1 inside, we have 1 times ln 1 minus, put the t now, t times ln t, and then subtracted by integral from t to 1, and then x is canceled, just dx. 
Now this goes to zero, ln one is zero, like I showed in above graph. So we're left with negative t times ln t, and then subtracted by when we evaluate this, this integral of dx is just, well, x, and it's from t to one. And then when we evaluate that, ln t minus, put the one in there, so we have, yeah, we have uh, one and then minus this t right there. Put that in. So we have this, simplify this, or just put the negative out of there. Ln t is multiplied in negative one, then plus t. So now this is our integral now. So now we just have to deal with the limits. So what this all brings, uh, putting uh, this all together, we have basically the integral from zero to one ln x dx is equal to now the limit as t approaches zero from the right side of negative t ln t minus one plus t. So when you uh, deal with this one, you could separate this into three limits. So equals two limit as t approaches zero from the right side, put the negative out, negative uh, t ln t minus limit as t approaches zero from the right side of one, and then plus limit as t approaches zero from the right side of t. So in this case is one, there's no t inside, so it just sticks to one. So this is just one. And then this limit as t approaches zero from the right side of t, that's just going to zero. So all we're left with now is yeah, it's basically now negative limit as t approaches zero from the right side of t ln t. This one will solve this in a bit. And then minus, well, just one, that's zero there. So now we have this. So we just have to well deal with, or try to solve this function here. Now this one, what we actually end up having is this zero goes in there. We have a zero times and ln t, that's going to negative infinity. So we have a, a negative infinity, but this can also be written as, you could also write it as basically, well, one divided by infinity. Just write that zero, one divided by infinity times negative infinity. So you could write it as something like this. So this is a type of, let's go negative infinity over infinity. So to solve this, we need to use Lahapitel's rule, like I showed in my earlier video. So need to use to use La Hopitels, I think it's, pronoun it's pronounced La Hopitels, sometimes spelled, I think it's spelled like La Hospital for some reason, La Hopitels rule. So we have to use this rule to solve this limit to see if that this negative infinity over infinity go goes to a, a proper number or goes to infinity. Basically what this does is try to find out if the top infinity is bigger than the small than the bottom infinity. So, so just to recap on the Lahapitel's rule, recall that basically for if you have a limit like zero zero or a plus or minus infinity over plus or minus in, uh, infinity like this, and and again you can see the proof of this in an earlier video in the video link below. So if you have these types of of limits we could also basically solve using the derivative of those functions. Then what we have is limit as let's say x approaches a of f of x uh, over g of x, we have two functions, this just equals two limit as x approaches a of the derivative f prime of x over the derivative f of g prime of x. So since our, our case we have this infinity over infinity type limit, we could basically use uh, solve using the um, derivative of it. Thus, what we have, yeah, thus the limit now, limit as t approaches zero from the right side of t, ln t equals two, well, we could just flip this one. So this equals to limit as t approaches zero, yeah, from the right side, and then we since we flipped that one, this will just be ln t divided by one over uh, t like this. And this one, we're not changing this function in any way. This one, you could just flip it back and it'll be exactly t times ln t, because this is just one divided by, we're basically dividing by one divided by t. So this is just a way of writing it. So we have that infinity over infinity type function. So now that we have this, we could solve, well, the integrals, um, the derivatives of them. So recap, the derivative 
d over dt of well, ln t, this just equals to 1 over t. And also the derivative d over dt of 1 over t, this equals to, just simplify this, just to make it easier to apply the power rule, this equals to t to the power of negative 1. And when you take the derivative, you put the negative 1 down, so it's negative, and then t, then you just add a power, or you know, subtract the power, so negative uh, 2. So, and this, just flip this down, this equals to 1 over t squared. So we have that, and just plug those inside. So this becomes the limit as t approaches 0, and we take the derivative, 1 over t, and then negative 1 over t squared. And then basically, this you could bring this back up, so this equals to negative t squared over t, which equals to negative t. And then as you plug in zero in there, well, this just equals to zero as, as you approach zero from the right side. So what this means is that the infinity at the bottom is, is larger than infinity at the top, or yeah, it's approaching infinity at a faster rate. So then they just cancel, uh, so it ends up being you're approaching zero as opposed to infinity. So since we have this, what we have now, this means now that the, I'll just say thus, the limit now from 0 to 1 of ln x dx is equal to, when we go back up, remember the limits, this equals to, well, this goes to 0 now. So we just have zero, negative 0 or just 0 minus 1, the answer is just negative 1. Oops. Yeah, whoops. Uh, so basically it equals to negative uh, 1 right here. So that is, uh, yeah, that's the answer over there. When we scroll back, up here, that integral can be considered well an area. So it was negative one because it's below the axis, x-axis. So the area is just equal to one. The area under this curve, and it and it's a finite area. Anyways, that's all for today. Hopefully, you learned from this pretty uh, interesting, useful video on improper integrals and this ln x uh, function and how to deal deal with it and evaluate it using by parts and also Lahapi tells rule. Anyways, that's all for today. Like always, you can download these exact notes in the link below. And thanks for watching. And stay tuned for another math easy solution.